London's great fish market, where for as long as anyone can remember, the porters have always worn their distinctive headgear. Nothing much as fashion goes, but a necessary protection against both wet and weight. Bobbins, they're called, and there's a danger that soon they may disappear entirely from the Billingsgate scene. You'd think there'd always be a demand for bobbins, and so there is. But that's not what worries Master Cordwainer John William Fain. It was he who, in his 250-year-old house in Lovett Lane, behind the market, first saved the bobbin from extinction 25 years ago. Last of the bobbin craftsmen, he was only 20 when he took over their exclusive manufacture. Today, he's worried about the falling demand. Not that porters don't want them anymore, but each bobbin has up to 40 years wear in it. Unlike fickle woman, fish porters make one hat last a lifetime. There's another thing. Every bobbin takes a full eight-hour day to make. Hardly mass production. Into each one go five pounds of strong leather, six yards of wax end for the hand stitching, and 400 nails. Prices have gone up from 12 shillings in the old days to five pounds ten today. Years ago, trade was lively, and even a visiting Japanese Minister of Fisheries once ordered a special bobbin. Tacking on the three-layer crown that will ease another customer's daily burden, Craftsman John wishes he could do the same for himself. There's a tidy weight on his own mind. 